Hey Summit Kids, Jamie here. We're on day 11 of our journey through Matthew. So if you're just joining us, download the Bible app. You're going to go to the plan section, scroll down to kids. When you get to kids, you're just going to keep on moving it over, scrolling it over until you see Walk with Jesus 21 days through Matthew. Again, we're on day 11 and we're actually looking at chapter 11 verses 28 through 30. And I want to ask you guys, have you ever just felt so much pressure to do what's right? So much pressure to get everything done and you're just kind of overwhelmed. Like there's a lot to do. You have to do everything for school. You have to do everything for your sports. You have your friends. You have your family. There's fighting. There's so many relationships and you get kind of overwhelmed, right? There's just so much to think of at one time. And that's kind of what Jesus is talking to here. It's talking to when we're fe feeling like we're overwhelmed and our burden, like what we carry is a lot. It's so heavy. It's just pulling us down. So let's open up to chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, what was Jesus talking to? I mean, he wasn't talking to me who's in my 30s and has kids. And I mean, was he? What was he actually talking about here? Well, what we see before, if we're looking to chapter 11 going earlier, we see that there were a lot of... Um, teachers, religious teachers. Um, so at that time, they were the religious elite. They knew all there was to know about the Bible, and they would even put up extra laws to protect themselves so that they didn't do stuff wrong. The problem was that the Bible had already given you these laws, right, which were a lot to handle. And then they're saying, hey, let's do all these extra ones just so we're extra safe. Now, the people, if they didn't follow all these laws, they would you know, people would be mad at them. They would be considered sinful. And it was so much pressure on them that they just didn't know what to do. Um, and what does Jesus say? He says, come to me, all of you that are weary. So if you're tired, you're carrying a heavy load, I'm going to give you rest. You know, if you're weighed down by all of these, all of this pressure you have on you, come to me, I'm going to give you rest. So you out there, if you have so much pressure from all the stuff you're going through right now, come to him for he will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. And the yoke, you know, is that, um, so if you have two oxes and you want them to walk at the same pace, a yoke is a piece of wood that you would put in between them. So the oxen would walk at the same pace together. Okay, so he's saying, take my yoke upon you. So Jesus's yoke which connects us and learn from me, walk at the same pace with him. Um, you know, if you're going to follow any rules, let's follow my rules here. If you're going to be stressed out about something like let's, let's not do that. Let's just see what I have for you because he says, I'm gentle and humble in heart and I will find rest for your souls. So if you come with me, I'm going to help you find rest. I don't want you to live a life where you are stressed out all the time. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So I just want to go over that with you today. Take your journal, take your pen, read that passage again. And I want you to just pray and say, think for a minute or two and say, okay, what is it? How am I pressured right now? What's on me right now? That's a lot to deal with. You can even write it out, make a list of all the things that are pressure for you and then give it to Jesus and say, okay, write a prayer. Okay, Jesus, you say that your burden is easy, uh, that your burden is light. So help me to follow you as I go through my day. Help me to follow you and what and look to see what's most important to you and to follow that today. All right, let's let's just pray together as we end today. Lord, thank you for this day, and I pray that you help us to follow what you have for us, that we will see what's most important to you and follow that and do that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, see you tomorrow for day 12.